Hey everyone, hope everyone is doing well. So, major changes coming to Genshin Impact. Let's get into the developers' discussion. So, first off, new limited time area exploration rewards. In future versions, there will be limited time area exploration rewards whenever a new area becomes available. The rewards collection period will last for two versions. Additionally, for new versions or areas in 5.0, which includes these areas on the screen because I will butcher these names once you meet certain exploration requirements you will obtain a total of 400 primos this is actually kind of generous man it's pretty good friendly reminder the extra limited time rewards for the version 5.0 archon quest and science of the canopy will no longer be available after this date here october 8 2024 so make sure and get your exploration and archon quest done and this is the rewards that you would have gotten for that optimized spiral abyss this one is something that i'm looking forward to starting from the latest lunar phase of the spiral abyss in version 5.1 beginning october 16 two days after my birthday by the way you will be able to use the skip feature meet the conditions to quickly skip to specific floors so basically what this is you know how whenever spiral abyss resets you have to go from floor 9 to floor 12 it i believe now that you could just skip once you meet certain requirements you can claim all chamber bounties for the skip floors directly via the review pop-up it's very similar to what Hon honkai star rail has however the primo gem rewards for the stars bounty will still need to be claimed manually you, it, it basically mean you're just going into the menu of the spiral abyss and claiming your rewards so that's like wow that's pretty good also you will be getting your artifact chest they aren't like removing anything to give you this feature this one will save us a ton of time because if you're like me floor 9 10 and 11 it's just way too easy floor 12 is where there is a little bit of a challenge so this is a big plus for me okay moving on optimize character building experience i believe i touched on this in a video a couple weeks ago in new versions we've optimized the character building experience so you can view and craft all required character development items via a convenient one-stop interface making the calculations process much easier and as you see this is the character here and this is like all the materials that you need to like you know go into the crafting bench and build so you don't have to come out go back in the character screen to see which books they take which ascension materials they take this is just one stop interface and yeah that's amazing again this is like really really helpful like for me i wish i had this very long time because there is plenty times i wouldn't lie to you that i've went and exchanged the wrong materials for the character so as you see this is how you do it here um you could you select the character then you could choose if you want to do character ascension or oh, there's even for normal attack elemental skill and elemental boost that's pretty good even the equip weapon so whichever weapon you have equipped on the character i believe that it will show the materials that you need to you know convert and craft to get it up when you click to craft materials the system will automatically detect that amount of materials required making the crafting process more precise convenient and minimizing waste yo this is crazy taking character ascensions as an example you can select the ascension phase you wish to ascend to so let's say you have this character but you don't want to waste out all of your resources you could set the ascension to like get them up to like level 70 for instance right and it will only show you the amount of materials that you need to get them to that level that's yo this is very very helpful moving on other interface or feature optimization optimize sorting for trous domain interface after the update the adventure handbook trous trounce uh, am i pronouncing that wrong trounce domain screen will sort trounce domains for newest to oldest this will make it a lot easier because let's be honest there's majority of us aren't going to go for child and go for riding shogun at this point right so instead of having to scroll down and look now the latest trounce domain that we have it will pop up on top 
so this actually saves a little bit of time as well adventurer handbook default display optimization after the update when all the content in adventurer handbook experience has been completed the first time you open a handbook after each time you log in the commissions and guide tabs will be displayed first if there is any unfinished content in these tabs so if you're somebody that constantly miss out on what you need to do and get stuff done these will be the first thing to be popping up because honestly majority of the time i don't ever use the handbook because you know you have to go and scroll you might as well just click on the map and see what you have to do or you know just kind of memorize so now it's a place where you could go and sort out i will have things sort out so you know how to get things done daily custom artifact filtering for characters please just give us the artifact load out it's coming I believe it's coming before the end of Natlan. I don't know why it's taking so long, but whatever. To help you quickly choose suitable artifacts, we've also optimized the artifact interface. You can create custom artifact filter plans for individual characters and the system will record each character's plan. When you perform operations such as sorting and filtering artifact sets or affixes of an artifact component, your selection will be saved. The next time you access the artifact selection menu for that character, the results of your previous selection will be displayed automatically without needing to adjust them again so they're giving you a little showcase of what they're doing here basically what this is let's say you set crit rate and crit damage for Kanish and you get your build and you leave the character menu next time you go back on that character the crit rate and crit damage will already be saved so you won't have to go and select it so I'm not sure if this will let me see when you acquire new artifacts and re-enter the page of a character for whom a filter plan has been set the newly obtained oh yeah so it, it it's a filter plan for that character let's say i set crit rate and crit damage for kenish let's say i exit the menu i go and farm some artifacts i come back i don't have to go and filter it again it will automatically filter the crit rate and the crit damage and it's up to three things so that's pretty good a new set filter switching button has been added so this is how it will look allowing you to quickly switch between showing all and filtering out sets making it easier to select non-set pieces such as when choosing a four piece set plus one non-set piece combination so yeah that is it that is the developers discussion and i would say it's pretty good it seems that who your voice is just you know they're really putting in some work right now it's not perfect it's getting there they're actually doing their work and i'm happy to see this the game isn't feeling like it's at a stagnant pace anymore it seems like somebody came in and said like yo we need to make some changes and we need to make some changes now so little by little they will be implementing changes in genshin impact i'm super super happy about this when will we get the loadouts i'm not sure but i believe that it's gonna come because it's like every time we get some changes eh, there's like a little sprinkle of something to do with artifacts right so this makes me happy i hope it does for you too so let me know your thoughts down below with the developers discussion my name is tired of feelings hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one take care if god gave me a retry i'll pass it on to my left Cause knowing that you'll never be mine's is worse than being a ex And now my soul is cursed with lies and I've been burning sinking in there I mix melatonin with cough syrup to get closer to my death And I'm tired